This OUA feature is brought to you by Pioneer Energy. Refuel, refresh, reward yourself at Pioneer today. No question, CFL scouts are watching Kyle Quinlan. The MVP of the 2011 Yates Cup, and that player is none other than the quarterback, Kyle Quinlan. McMaster, and that's the game. you are going You're back to the Van Yates Cup. From the McMaster Marauders, quarterback, Kyle Quinlan. MVP, 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 MVP. Kyle Quinlan, we're doing this for the second time. The great quarterbacks remembered for winning championships. You look at the last couple of Yates, all those guys holding the trophies, those great quarterbacks, they ended their career on top. Do you think about that moment, lifting the trophy? That's what it's all about at this level. Not many people get two of these. I guess that's a testament to you being pretty good for a long time. You were an impact player as a freshman. Now you're going through all these experiences as a senior. What's changed in that time? Uh, a lot of things have changed, you know. Luckily, one thing that stayed constant is the coaching staff. And I've had the opportunity to, to be with the same coaching staff, same offense coordinator all the way through. Um, so the guys that I came in here with, uh, the first year guys, we've all developed in the same offense. So we're, we're a lot more comfortable than in that first year for sure. Winland thought he might run it. Now he's gonna throw it. Touchdown, Mac! And with that, Kyle Quinlan's 60th career TD pass, the new Mac school record. In my mind, part of your legacy is the way you finished last year and you picked right up where you left off this year. Playing so well, so many people have been championing your cause as a guy who should be playing professionally. But what's it feel like for you to having so many people supporting you? Well, it's a great feeling to, to know that you have all that support behind me. Um, at the same time, I'm, I'm realistic that um, I know there's a lot more that goes, in, goes into this game. There's, you know, the coaching staff puts in so much time and so much effort into preparing us for every single game. And then we got guys all over this, this team that just battle. And they, they've put in a lot of time in the film and in the weight room to, uh, to play at a high level. So obviously I get a lot of the praise, but there's a lot more that goes into just me dropping back and throwing the ball. Your game specifically, you kill people in so many different ways uh, from the pocket. Quinlan looking deep. Quinlan back to pass again, has lots of time. Looking at the end zone. He's going to take a shot all the way down the field. Touchdown, Mac. Tosses a long run. Touchdown, Mac. 102 yards. You've grown so much as a passer. What do you attribute that to? Uh, the coaching here, you know, they've, they've worked on stuff like that. There's, you know, maybe times where I could have stayed in the pocket and uh, scanned the field a little bit more, and they've, they've drilled me on that. And there was times where I could have stepped up and, you know, uh, make teams pay with my feet, and they've drilled that. So I think just over my time here, and I've been uh, more comfortable within the offense, and um, it showed later on in my career. Talked about those feet, and they're arguably, you know, the best for a quarterback at this level. Quinlan's got it again. Quinlan's running again. Look at him break open that for a big game across midfield. Kept the ball in his hands. He's got another one. Look at Quinlan! Big to hand up. He's got to run it himself. Touchdown, McMaster! When you decide to tuck it and run, you run with a bit of an attitude. A chip on your shoulder. Where does that come from? I just play a little angry when it, you know it's hard to be, it's hard to play angry when you're throwing the ball. So you know when I get the chance to to tuck it and run it, you can you can play a little angrier. And um, you know if you get a chance to run someone over, I, I like to I like to take that chance. You talked about you know playing angry, playing with a chip on your shoulder, but the kind of guy you are, I know you play kind of more for just yourself and your teammates. You're a big family guy and you're supported well. And also I know your mom's a big part of the reason why you play the game the way you do. Yeah, my mom, uh, you know, obviously she's a huge motivation for me and um, all of my sisters are up at, at, at all these games. My mom hasn't missed a single game of my uh, university career, so um, they drive up from Windsor, they make the three hour hike and I always have sisters up here, I have cousins, you know, all these relatives, friends and family um, that come up to enjoy Mac football and it, and it means a lot knowing that you know, this is something I, that I put a lot of time and a lot of effort into and um, they're there to share share with me in a lot of these a lot of these moments. You talked about that family support. You had it on the other side of the country in the Vanier mm -hmm. in Vancouver. 
Vandy is a little bit closer to home this year. What would that feeling be like for you to go out winning back to back, something not a lot of people have the chance to do but with your family around you? Well, that'd be, you know, storybook ending for sure. That'd be the, the best case scenario is to go out as a champion. And that's something that we're, we're, we're striving to do, um, especially I know my family will be there if we, we get the opportunity to be there. So to share that with them would be, would be pretty special. OUA semifinal Saturday starts at 1 o'clock with Stu Lang's upstart Griffins facing his alma mater. Next, Kyle Quinlan faces the last team to beat the McMaster Marauders, the Western Mustangs, in a rematch of the 2011 Yates Cup. Top four teams in the OUA, and we've got them all this Saturday on The Score.